after losing my wife, uh, my wife went to have a breast reduction uh, in Oklahoma, and she was doing it for Valentine's Day, getting ready for our big wedding. We wow. ended up getting married January 1st. And uh, something told me I was playing in San Diego, and God said, why don't you just marry this woman? Mm. And, and everything, you know, when, you, when, you're in the, when you're a man and you're going through a relationship, everybody's telling you about what you love. Yeah. And, and, and it kind of <laughs> makes you drag your feet a little bit. Yeah. kind of makes you so. At this particular time, me and God just started spending more and more time together. I was by myself in San Diego. My wife was pregnant in Chicago. And um, uh, I remember her flying down to come visit me in San Diego. And uh, I said, man, let's just get married. Let's go to the courthouse and get married. Wow. And I got married on New Year's. And after that, my wife went to get a breast reduction to, to fit her little dress. And she, you know, you know how they, yeah, she wanted to look good. And, and the wedding was in July 8th. And uh, she called me. She said, come down to uh, Oklahoma after wedding. We're going to go out. We're going to have a blast. So I'm getting on the plane to go meet her. And I find out that she's, she's unresponsive. Mm. And I'm like, how she unresponsive? It's a breast reduction. She should right. be in and out. Right. But she ended up having a brain aneurysm. Wow. And, 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 and at that moment on the plane, I remember taking off on the plane when I got the news to go meet with her. I remember God just saying, do you trust me? Mm. And, and in that moment, man, tears began to run down my face and every tear meant something to me. Mm. And every, every tear begins to speak to God. Oh, like I remember God. on my knees asking God, that, God, I want to feel you, know you in another way. And, and I want to. So God said, do you trust me? And every tear made sense. Like, don't mm. panic. Trust in God. Mm. And from that point, my whole desire in life is to show people to appreciate breath. Wow. And, 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 and at 28, I That's pulled good. a cord on my wife. At 28, I pulled a cord. I had to decide whether she is going to be a vegetable or should she go on. And, and God said, let me handle it. And we wow. decided to do what we had to do. And, and from that point on, I told God from every day of my life, I would show people to show their loved ones, give them the flowers while they could smell it. Mm. Don't wait till the battle is over. Don't wait till the uh, crying over the casket. But every day, we got to realize that we are dying dead. Daily. That's good. And that casket gets closer every day and every day. Absolutely. So my whole thing is just to, to just to encourage all the believers, man, that God is able to do whatever. He's Praise able God. to be Praise exceedingly God. abundant of all. It's amazing to me. It's absolutely amazing that when you ask God for uh, increased faith, yes, sir. that it comes through the trying of your faith. Yes, sir. You know, I say this often, faith is not faith until it's been tested. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Until you have to trust in the Lord with all of your heart mm -hmm. and then completely lean not to your own understanding. Yes, because his ways are not our ways, his yes, thoughts sir. are not our thoughts. As high as the heavens are mm -hmm. from the earth, so are the ways of the Lord from us. When you really are in that position that you have nothing else to depend on but God that's and it. his word, that's, it. that's when your faith really becomes faith. And, and what you're saying means so much to me now. Praise God. I can understand yeah. it. You know, when you Absolutely. haven't been tested, you just hear these words. Right. But when you've gone through something, yeah. Yeah. when you've gone through that's something, it. It, and you know that, uh, but, but I'm, I'm here to encourage everybody that in the dark times, mm -hmm. we've been made to endure and yeah. endure yeah. And, and endure. And I, and I think my message, my message, to, to all the men and all the people of God is that we need to know how to prepare for these struggles. We need to be prepared for these things to come. We've been made endure for the night, but your joy comes in the morning. So that's what it is. I, I'm just, I'm going to keep going and going until the morning comes. I'm going to keep going for God.